Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about our AI undergraduate program. Uh, so we are starting this program this year in, in autumn. We've been running exactly the same kind of program as a German language program for the last two years. And it's uh, so far going extremely well. So we decided we want uh, more students and make the program open to international students. And that's why we're starting it as an English language program in parallel. But as I said, we've been doing this kind of program now for the, for the last two years. So we definitely know what we are doing. Um, the undergraduate program takes seven semesters. So that's three and a half years. Um, all of the courses are taught in English. And um, once you graduate, you will get a bachelor's of science degree. Um, one of the issues we have experienced in the last years, um, already before the pandemic and now um, in a much more uh, stronger way, is that students start to struggle to get their visa in time because it just takes a long time to get the visa from the embassy. And now due to Corona, that's even more difficult. So we decided that we will offer the first and second semester on campus but we will also offer it remotely. So you don't need to be in Degendorf in your first year. Um, you're welcome to come to Degendorf and take all the courses on campus, but whatever reasons there are that you don't make it in time, you will be able to study the entire first year online. So you can take the lectures online, the lab sessions will be online and so forth. And then once your visa is ready or once the current situation gets better, uh, you can just join us in Degendorf, so you don't have any, any delays uh, during your studies. Um, the program also includes a mandatory internship semester, which is the fifth semester. So in the first two years, you learn a lot about computer science and AI, and then after two years, you'll spend uh, an entire semester in industry. Um, we feel that's extremely helpful because you finally learn how to turn all of this theory into real projects and then uh, you'll come back for the, your last year of studies and you definitely have a much better understanding of the real world. Um, for us it's very important that you learn a lot about AI in this program but AI only works if you really have a proper understanding of computer science. So the first year, uh, it's mainly computer science courses and other foundations like mathematics, programming, algorithms, operating systems, theory, and so forth. Um, starting the first semester, there will already be AI courses, but um, starting the second year, the focus will be on AI. In the first year, we simply have to make sure that you get the necessary foundations uh, like in mathematics, programming, and so forth. Uh, once you graduate, there will be plenty of opportunities for you. You can either work as a data scientist, as a software engineer, as a consultant, as a business developer, as a project manager. You can also choose to become a researcher. So uh, you could do a master's and, and then possibly uh, do a PhD later. Um, there are plenty of opportunities, all the options are open and it's really up to you uh, what you want to do because you get a lot of uh, foundations in computer science and in AI, but you also know how to apply this to real world problems. And as I said, all of our professors um, have industry experience. Uh, for example, I worked uh, in industry for a couple of years, both as a data scientist, but also as an executive. So we know how to turn all of this theory into real things that finally work. Plus, we have plenty of contacts to other companies. So once you look for an internship or a job, uh, we can easily connect you to plenty of uh, major companies. Um, there are a number of admission requirements. So you need a general university entrance qualifications or some kind of high school degree. Um, then you also need to take an English language test um, and you need to have B2 um, skills um, and we'll have also an online assessment test uh, since we expect a large number of applications, but we only have a limited number of spots in the program. Um, there will be an online assessment test on mathematics and some of the foundations of computer science. Um, you can 
apply anytime. Uh, the application portal just opened about two or three weeks ago. Uh, the deadline is July the 15th, and we intend to send out the admission results uh, very quickly after July the 15th. Uh, you can learn uh, more about us online, on Facebook, on Twitter, and plenty of other social media platforms. Uh, if you have any questions about our program, uh, feel free to check out our website, but you can also get in touch uh, with me. So what you can see here is a map of our campus, and just um, here are all the buildings of our main campus. And as you can see, the Danube River is just next to the campus. So it's a very beautiful place, I think. Um, and I think we can also take some time now to discuss some of your questions. Do we have any questions in the chat that I can answer? So I can um, read some of the questions that I've seen sure. if you like. Um, so, I mean, I know the answer, I'll let you answer to this one. So, so there are a few people asking if there's a master's in AI that's offered. Yeah, we have two master's programs in AI. We have a general one that we do together with a university in the Czech Republic. So you can get a double degree both from us and the Czech partner university. Um, that program is entirely in English. And we have a second master's in AI program that is also in English, but it has a strong focus on mechatronics industry 4.0 and those kind of things. So we link AI to mechatronics. Okay. Um, someone else is asking a little bit more detailed question when it comes to the modules and the credits. Um, they want to know if it's okay regarding the master's degree application requirements since they, um, I'm not sure. I'll let you look at this actually um, in in terms of the Q and A section because it's a little bit more detailed. Okay. Um, and some people, there are a lot of questions about the application requirements. Um, so we did send the links to the study programs. They were also shown. Um, but if you're not sure, um, you can feel free to to ask. But I will say, when it comes to eligibility requirements, it's pretty in German. You would say like streng, like strict. Um, so just make sure you take a look at those eligibility. Perfect. Um, these eligibility requirements, not just language, yeah. but also modules. So yeah, you need a university entrance qualification. You need to take some kind of English uh, language test, and you need to. So there are a number of tests that we accept. You need to demonstrate uh, that your skills are at B2 level or above, plus there's the online assessment test. And all of that is strict, so we won't be able to make any, um, any exceptions because by law, we have to rank all of the applicants and we have a certain number of spots. Um, and then by law, we have to uh, um, send an acceptance letter to the top K students so we are unable to make any kind of exceptions here with those requirements. So, Jasmine, you said there was a longer question on the modules. Maybe you can point me to that question. Sure. It's um, whew, we have twenty-seven questions waiting. Let me scroll through it. Uh, but essentially, someone was asking specifically about. Um, I think about. It says since Degendorf has an entr the entrance bar set higher than the expected 20 credits in an AI um, for the bachelor's, can I still apply and then take classes during my time doing my master's? I'm not really sure what, what this um, student is asking. Yeah, because you don't need to have taken any AI courses before. So maybe this question refers to the master's, I don't know. But for our bachelor's program, you just need your university entrance qualification. If you have any knowledge about AI already, that's great, but you're not required to contribute any kind of credits here. Okay. Okay, perfect. I think actually, I think that answered their question. 